Hi there! After this lesson, you should be able to find and interpret the rate of change and initial value of a linear function from a table and from words. Okay, before we start, let's take a look at the equation of a line, in particular, slope-intercept form. We know that m in this equation represents slope. However, it also represents the rate of change. How? I'll show you. Let's take a look at an example. Renee was invited to go ice skating with her friends. She must pay to rent a pair of ice skates plus pay an additional fee per hour. The table shows the cost for various times she could spend ice skating. Find and interpret the rate of change and initial value. To start, it might be beneficial to note that any table with two quantities can be turned into a graph. We will let x represent hours and y represent cost. This would make each pair of numbers an ordered pair on the graph. So we can approach this problem as if we have a graph in front of us. To find the rate of change, we find out how the cost changes with each hour that passes by. To do so, we find the ratio of the change in cost to the change in hours, or y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. You may recognize this as our formula for slope. Now, choose any two points from the table. I'll use 1, 12, and 3, 22. We will plug these values into our formula. 22 minus 12 equals 10, and 3 minus 1 equals 2. This simplifies to 5. The slope, or rate of change, is 5. We can interpret this as the cost that Renee will pay per hour of ice skating, or $5 per hour. Good job! We found the rate of change for the word problem. Renee will pay $5 per hour to go ice skating. Next, we must find the y-intercept. This is the value of y when x is equal to 0. We call this the initial value, or the starting value. Let's take a look. To find the initial value, we must figure out the amount Renee will pay right from the start. We can use the equation of a line we've been working on to help. We know the rate of change, or m, is equal to 5. b, or the initial value in this case, is what we're trying to find, so we will leave it as the variable b. Now, for x and y, we can choose any pair of values from the table above. I'll choose 1 and 12. Plug in 1 for x and 12 for y. Great, now all we need to do is solve for b. 5 times 1 is 5. Then, subtract 5 from both sides to get 7 equal to b. The initial value is 7. The problem tells us she has to pay to rent ice skates, so we can interpret this as the initial cost Renee incurs before skating. In other words, it costs $7 to rent a pair of ice skates. So let's go ahead and put 7 in for b. Once we have the slope and the y-intercept of the equation, I like to think of this as the DNA of the word problem. We can now answer all questions that arise, and this equation will help us. For instance, how much did Renee spend if she skated for six hours? Easy! We bring in the equation we've built with rate of change and initial value included. In our table, hours was the independent variable x, so we can simply plug six in for x and solve. 5 times 6 equals 30, and 30 plus 7 equals 37. Renee spent a total of $37 skating with her friends. Okay, it's your turn. Bruno is going to rent a trampoline park for his birthday. The park charges a rental fee, plus $10 per guest. If Bruno invites 8 friends, the total is $135. Hit pause so you can work this out on your own. Okay, we are first asked to find and interpret the rate of change and initial value. The problem tells us that there is a $10 fee per guest. The total cost Bruno will incur is based on the number of guests he invites, and so the rate of change is 10. To find the initial value, we will use the equation of a line in slope-intercept form. The rate of change is 10, and we are trying to find the initial value b. It sure would be nice to have some x and y values to plug into this thing. Based on the information we've been given, can't we fill in this table to the right? Sure, let's see. The initial value 
before any guests are invited is what we are trying to find. But the problem does tell us that for eight people, it would cost $135. There, there's an ordered pair I can use. So let's see, we plug in eight for X and 135 for Y. Let's solve, 10 times eight is 80, Subtract 80 from both sides to get 55 equal to B. The rental fee is $55. Lastly, how much will Bruno pay if he invites 15 friends? Again, we will use the equation of a line. We can plug in the rate of change M and initial value B that we found above to start. Since the number of guests is represented by X, we will plug in 15 for X and solve for Y. 10 times 15 equals 150, and 150 plus 55 equals 205. Bruno will spend $205 total if he invites 15 friends. Great job! Mm -hmm.